Okay, Gemini, this is going to be past, present, and future. And, um, yeah, if you're watching from YouTube, please do subscribe, share, and like the reading. If you're watching from TikTok or Instagram, please do follow, heart, and share the readings. I appreciate each and every one of you. Yeah, I just want to thank every one of you for being here or for watching the readings, for your comments, for, you know, your your support of the channel in and all. So, yeah. Okay. For the... Okay. For Gemini. Show me the card that I need to see for Gemini past. Show me the... Okay. Five of Swords. Oof. Okay. There's a feeling here of... Um, Feeling kind of like you're stuck. Kind of like, um, what do you do? You know, wh wh it's got that type of feeling to it. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Virgo, or you could have a lot of that in your chart. Um, there could have been something that took place um, between the 20th and the 30th of July that was prominent for you. Um, it's just got a real hmm, feeling to it. It's, it's almost like, um, I don't know, some of this is, it feels like you and about yourself. So, um, there could also something take place, because that is swords. Something could take place between, um, or it could have taken place between, or could be next year, just yeah something to keep in mind um the 20th and possibly 25th twenty 20th of september through the 25th of october something prominent um and you you know you may be dealing with someone who has a lot of virgo or libra scorpio or aquarius in their birth chart or you could have okay show me the card that we need to see for the present moment for gemini they threw out two here. I haven't had this happening. Two of Wands making a decision. Um, this is not the card I'm going to take. But I feel like that Ten of Pentacles, you've made some decisions at some point that have brought you some form of money. And um, it's like now you have to make a decision. There's a decision that has to be made around money. Okay, show me the card that we need to see. Show me the card that we need. And now they're showing two more. And I'm not feeling those. Okay, show me the card that we need to see for the present moment. Show me the card that we need to see for Gemini for the present moment, please. Okay, judgment. So everything comes to light. Um, karma. It's got a lot to do with karma and um, judgment, you know, th things being dealt with, whether it's um, through, you know, uh, universal law or here, um, things being dealt with, things, you know, happening, things changing. Um, it's got that type of feeling to it, you know. And you could have a lot of Cancer or Scorpio in your birth chart. You could be dealing with a Cancer or Scorpio. But there's a feeling of a lot of karma. There's a feeling of, you know, and I, I'm being drawn back to those cards of making a decision about money. And, you know, there may have been some decisions in the past that were around money that now things are changing about, you know, coming to a head, coming to a um, place of seeing things differently, it feels like. That's what that feels like. It's just got that feeling to it. Um, change, you know. Um, I also feel like that, um, you know, whew, there's a feeling of enlightenment. There's a feeling of uh, awakening to something. But there's also a feeling of um, closure and... Uh, something coming about, progression going forward, making new plans in your life, you know, finding new purposes, new ambitions, um, and going forward in your life. Okay, so that doesn't look bad. 
doesn't look bad. Um, because we're going from not really knowing to knowing, you know. Um, it's like from one step to the next. You can't foresee the what is in between, but it's like trusting that you're going to go on the right path. Okay, can you show us, um, or show me the card that we need to see for Gemini's future. Show me the card that we need to see. The world. Change. So the endings of cycles, you know, change. The beginnings of new. Uh, the endings of a cycle, the beginning of a new, something happening for a reason. Um, things changing, you know, things change uh, for a reason, you know. Maybe they're done. Maybe they're spent. Maybe they have, um, you know, lived as long as they're supposed to, and it's time for them to you know, be done. Um, that's closure. That's um, having that moment of um, knowing that, you know, you've reached this point of closure and it's, it's starting fresh, starting new. You know, it's not a bad thing. It is um, knowing that you have made it where you're supposed to and that you know now you're starting something new you're in a new place in a new beginning and uh yeah it doesn't have a bad feeling to it it has a feeling of um recognizing what is rather than uh what you thought was it's that type of feeling um it's also there's a feeling of karma there's a feeling of you know seeing why things happened the way they did, seeing where things, you know, may have taken a turn. Um, there's also a feeling of freedom, a feeling of um, being able to possibly travel a journey and, you know, do what you want to do. Um, so, therefore, there can be a sense of fulfillment in the long run. It's got that type of feeling. So, here we have the Eight of, eight of Cups and... You know, um, that's a feeling like going towards possibly the unknown, but, you know, being able to do it. Um, there could be, you know, th something here around, um, we've got the Three of Cups, which is on the bottom. And that can be around family, that can be around, um, you know, a reunion of sorts. And, you know, we have got Thanksgiving coming up, so... Yeah, that's got a good feeling about that, that things will, you know, be be in a happy place, but at the same time there are some form of karma. And sometimes we have consequences with karma. Um, you know, it can be good consequences, it can be bad. It's according to the what we've put out there. So, yeah, um, how we've dealt with things. That's what I've got for you. Thank you so much for being here with me. Much light and love. Till next time. Bye.